Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at the consignment and how you can actually create a consignment order, have your pieces out on consignment and track them and create invoices for them when they've actually been sold as well while keeping everything in stock or keeping your stock up to date. So we'll go into the consignments area. Now, very much like an invoice to create a new one, you'll just click on new at the top here. You'll select the, the customer that you're going to actually create it for, click on those and then it will give you the consignment order details to fill in. I'm going to use the sample one I've got here. So there's one I've just pre-populated a bit. So fill in your information, purchase order number, the percent you, the percent you expect in return, uh, your terms, the due date for that, shipping method and so forth. Uh, you can put a message and some comments for them. Again, it will pull this in from your customer's details, the sold to and shipped to. So that should be pre-filled for you. And now all you really need to do is start adding some items. So I'm going to add an item here and we'll use our green clay pair. So we'll just click on there. We're going to add one. Okay, and we could see as soon as we actually put that one in, our in stock went to zero. So we don't have that in stock anymore because it's going to be going out the door. We'll select the price that's going out consignment. So you can pop that in there. Okay, now We've got our totals over here, so we've got our tax rate, the subtitle, we've got shipping and handling, so if you're going to put shipping in there, we just put in $3 for shipping, and depending on whether you're going to apply tax or not, you may or you may not apply tax. So that gives us our total for our consignment order. So now you can print that, and if we just click on print, okay, we can see that's our consignment order. We can print that, we can send that off with our with our um, item to our person who's going to sell our pieces. I'll just click continue on here. Now this gives you some more options so you can print some labels and I'm just going to say no. So you can print off a shipping or a customer label for, to go with this when you send it off. Okay, so that's all good. Now you've got some items out of consignment. What we'll actually just do is add a couple of others. I'm just going to add these you a bit of an idea of what we could do if we had a few things on here and let's add one of these okay so in this example we had a 30 day sale or return and let's say we've got to our 30 days everything that was out of consignment we talked to the um, person who was selling them and they may have sold uh, one of them and they may have not sold the rest so the rest may get returned so we need to create an invoice for that so all we have to do is come back into our consignment order let's say that they've sold the clay pair clay pairs go very well I hear and the other arms have been returned so we'll put on return and you'll notice here if we look at the in stock you'll notice when I click this to return that it will actually change because it will, it will bring this back into stock Okay, so let's put that back into stock. Then we just click on create an invoice. Okay, and you can see what's happened is we've now created an invoice and the items that were on the consignment order that was sold have automatically been put into the invoice here for this customer. So now all you need to do is fill in the rest of the details, so purchase order, payment type, shipping, etc. Mark off whether it's filled in same as you do for the invoice and if you haven't watched the invoice tutorial just watch the invoice tutorial you just have to fill in the rest of the information here and your invoice is basically created straight away from that consignment order so I'll just click back to there okay and that's the end of that consignment order um, these are this item will now have been taken out of stock so we have none left in stock these two have been returned so they're back in stock so your stock is kept track of You've managed to keep track of everything you've actually got out on consignment so you know where it is, who's got it, and when it is sold, you can basically click a couple of buttons and create an invoice to send that out to your person who's been selling your items on consignment very quickly, and it looks very good, very professional, and it allows you to manage everything very easily.